been a while since we saw you. You've been gone the whole off season. Congratulations on Australia. How was that? Like, how did that even come about? Uh, the Australia thing was incredible. It was it was such a great experience, and and honestly, how it all came about was um, I had got hurt in Washougal, and um, or kind of knocked my head. I got a concussion, and uh, so we had a two week break, and I was still thinking I would race the last three nationals, and um, so I tried riding the week before. Uh, I forget which race it was. Anyways, I, I tried to race, and there was, it was a no go. So the family and I went to um, uh, went to our beach place in Myrtle Beach, and we were just hanging out and didn't really know what I was gonna do. Um, just kind of relaxing and got an email from Yuriv, the team owner in Australia for Honda. And um, I was like, oh man, that'd be kind of cool because I've talked about going back. I went to Australia in 2010, and just so happens when I got done racing there, I met my wife like a week and a half after I got back from Australia. So it's fresh in my mind. And so I, obviously I talked to her about it a lot and said how awesome it was. And so we've wanted to go back ever since, or, or I've wanted to go back and she's wanted to go ever since we met. So anyways, long story short, uh, I made some phone calls to American Honda to see what they knew about Honda Australia and the team and this and that and see if they could possibly support it and um, they'd give me some, some parts for the bikes there. And um, it ended up working out great. It came together like super smooth. And uh, so it was kind of meant to be. So I committed to it um, pretty early. Like the whole time we were at the beach for a week and from the time we went there, I had no idea what I was doing. The time we left, uh, we were gonna pack up and go to Australia. So, um, and then just uh, things started to evolve with, with Honda. And I'm so thankful that Dan Bentley the, uh, at Honda and his whole staff, like from mechanics to everybody there was so supportive. and. So yeah, it, it came together awesome and it was kind of too good to be true and I, I had to take it. So um, it was awesome. The whole trip was amazing. Uh, beside the racing, you know, the, just the trip with the family was, was incredible. Um, the racing was obviously very good. Uh, I won um, three of the races, won the championship, and um, we just had a blast. It was fun. I mean, after a tough year in the States, that had to be a really good thing to go build your confidence back up too. I don't know if I had a tough year in the States. I, I, get, I feel like I did pretty good in Supercross. Um, yeah, I believe I ended up eighth in points and had some top fives and got a heat win and was top ten almost every weekend. Um, Detroit, I had a podium going and got a flat with two, two laps to go. So yeah, I don't think I had a rough year by any means, but then I, I feel like every year I always do pretty good in Supercross. And then everyone starts talking and teams start calling and and then outdoors hits, and I usually struggle kind of outdoors, and then get a couple, maybe a top five here and there. And so then my name kind of gets lost in the shuffle, and then Supercross starts back up, and then everyone's kind of, oh yeah, he, he can ride Supercross good. So um, this year I've just decided, and I kind of knew it was time to just, I'm not gonna do outdoors anymore. Um, not for the fact that I don't I don't like it at all. It's, it's really just the fact of time. Um, I really want to go back to Australia. For Honda um, in 2017, and obviously I really enjoy doing Supercross in the States, so it would be a 12-month non-stop deal if I was to continue to do that. And um, but I'm gonna miss it for sure. I love the work ethic that goes into outdoors. I, all the tracks are awesome. Um, it's world-class racing, you know. So, but I just feel like it was time for me to just, you know, do Supercross only. And um, I feel like I still have a legit shot of getting on the podium any weekend. And uh, when you races and, and running up front, we're outdoors, it's a lot more of a struggle and you gotta be really motivated to do to do well outdoors and motivated as in the 30 minute motos every week and the travel and there's just a lot that goes into it. So um, take a step back from that, do Supercross only here and uh, hopefully Supercross in Australia. And uh, do that for a couple more years and, and uh, see what happens after that. So. And that leads right into the announcement the other day. So MCR next year, Supercross only with full Honda support. Yeah, so uh, be on the Smart Top Motor Concepts Honda team for 2017. And um, just kind of piggybacked onto when I started talking to Honda about Australia. And then uh, we started kind of talking like, well, what, what about when you come back to the States? What, what are you planning? And I was like, man, I'd love to stay on a Honda. And we just kind of went from there and, and um, 
Yeah. Moto Concepts has been around a long time. Um, they haven't had you know factory level support or support from a manufacturer. And Mike Genova is very open to it. Obviously, if you can get on the support in, in anything you do, I believe that's the pinnacle of our sport is to get support from a manufacturer like, such as Honda. And so we all kind of had to jump on it. I think it's going to be awesome. I think. Uh, We'll show up to Anaheim 1, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised. Um, it's just the whole look and the, just every, the whole vibe around the team. Um, I'm excited to be around the Honda guys again. I had my best uh, best year of my career in 2012 with those guys. A lot of the guys are, are still there that uh, were there back then. Um, but yeah, you know, one of my good buddies is Cole Seeley, so uh, I get to ride and train with him again. and. Uh, his mechanic, Rich, has been one of my best buddies for, for a long time now. So, get to be around a great, a great group of guys that um, you know that enjoy being around each other. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back there and, and get going. I'll be on the 2017 uh, 450, so that's exciting. Um, I've heard nothing but positive things. I've been at the test track with Kenny and Cole with them riding it. it looks incredible. So, um, I fly to California on Monday. So you got about roughly four weeks to crank everything out, but in seeing how Kenny and Cole did a Monster Cup, it looks like the base is already there. So you yeah, kind of have your work already there. Yeah, a lot of people have been like, man, you're only going to be on the bike a few weeks before the season. But I was there the first day that Cole rode the 17 at the Honda track, and he jumped on it right away, and it was noticeably uh, better um, he, lap times wise. Uh, he was better almost instantly. So I'm not I'm not nervous at all. Obviously, uh, you know, they'll feed me some information, information that they can on the stuff that they've done. And, and um, so I think with the group of people that we have around us, I don't think it's going to be a hard transition at all. Um, and I adapt to bikes pretty quick. So, uh, but yeah, it'll be a, a four week grind of, of motoing. And I feel like I've been traveling so much that it's, it's going to be nice to just get back and ride, ride the test track and, and train. And, but in saying that, I've been traveling a lot, but I've also got a lot of race fitness under my belt. You know, um, I've had years where I haven't raced and feel great at the test track and show up in Anaheim and you're not so good just because just the extra nerves and things that go along with racing. So got a lot of racing under my belt. Really? And um, yeah, I'm excited for the whole the whole program. Uh, I can't think American Honda and Moto Concepts and, and um, all the guys for putting it together. Also Honda Australia, they stepped up huge and had an amazing time over there. Um, you know, memories that I'll never forget. You know, my, my two and a half year old daughter had a great time, and, and uh, my wife Paige had an amazing time as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a blast.